Howdy, 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 my gorgeous Gemini. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today, honey, we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for March 2022. All right, Gemini, so if you find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading today, let me know in the comments below, as well as give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy my vibe or just this reading, darling. All right, I ain't picky. So let's just get right into your reading here, Gemini. Let's see where the vibes are currently at for you. What's going on for you? What? Where is the energy gaining momentum for you, darling? What's manifesting? What do you need to be looking out for? Let's just get into all the tea, Gemini. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This actually showed up in your uh, pre-shuffle. Uh, Gemini was the Knight of Pentacles coming in for you. Very good sign here. Six of Cups coming in. Oh, Gemini, what is going on here? What is going on? Not a bad thing, but what is going on here? And then the Chariot Energy stepping in here. Back of the deck is the Two of Wands. This is going to be for a very specific Gemini, this portion of the message. I just need to say it here. Gemini, there is somebody that you had in your life at one point in time. Six of Cups Energy, this is dealing with someone from the past Gemini. All right. So also talks about receiving an offer like receiving something here and so i feel as if there's someone from your past that it doesn't feel as if there's any type of negative emotions here to be honest um where it just feels as if like a connection that had the potential and being really good really solid someone that you could have clicked with but it was just like not the right timing for whatever the reason is or maybe there was a lot going on in your life gemini and a lot going on in their life that could have happened here um doesn't even have to be a person right because that pentacle energy could be just like some type of opportunity that brings forth more stability right with that earth energy or financial stability right um in your life here it's something that wasn't in the right divine timing that's what it is a gemini something that came forward in your life at one point in time and it didn't make sense to you initially because you're just like well why didn't work this work out before him because it felt really good spiritually internally um intuitively it felt really good for you gemini right but then for whatever the reason is it just wasn't clicking right it was just like you were speaking like two it's like two different wavelengths or taking like two magnets you know when you take two magnets for whatever the reason is i don't remember the scientific reasoning honey i'm a tarot reader not a scientist honey <laughs> <clears throat> but they're like resisting each other but the thing is there's just like why isn't this working because they should be just like clicking like this because internally you felt really something really powerful but it just wasn't it wasn't giving what it needed to be giving that you were feeling internally here i feel like it's coming back in um very quickly here with this cherry energy and the sign of pentacles it's interesting because these two cards here uh gemini are very opposite right the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight um out of all the knights in the court cards but the cherry energy is very fast mo uh, motion so it started out really slow right it started out really slow and maybe that's what causes situation to not really come of anything initially because it was just really slow and it's just like okay like nothing came of it it's coming in here six of cups with some type of communication there's like someone has a message for you here what is that message here uh ten of cups coming in here yeah this is complete fulfillment honey all right and so with this two of wands i was in the back of the deck as well that i forgot to um really go into detail about before i started shuffling again gemini two of wands that's something far into the future um planning for the long road as well as like i see it as like a card of um girl <laughs> i see gemini as a card of contracts all right and so um with this ten of cups energy like this time it's going to be different with you guys all right this time it's going to be really really different it was it's going to be a complete 180 than what it is that you're used to because and it makes so much sense now because we had that hanged man pop up in your pre-shuffle as well i don't ever record the pre-shuffles because it's unnecessary because i just use that to connect to the energy but yeah um ten of cups here this is like an if this is in regards to a person for a lot of you gemini's this is someone that is coming in from the past and really wanting to build that family life with you and this doesn't have to be romantic gemini all right this is, could be just like a really good solid friendship right you think of for those that know gray's anatomy honey right you think about um why was i was gonna say christian gray meredith gray honey this is very two very different characters darling christian gray meredith gray darling very different meredith gray and christina right in gray's anatomy here um is it Meredith Gray? You you get the point anyways. And so in this dynamic here, uh, Gemini, this is just like a, something really solid that's going to be really fulfilling to you. It's very soul fulfilling. I feel like this is something that um, aligns deeply with your soul. That's what I feel. Either that's just your strong emotions that you have attached to this, or there's like truly some type of soulful connection here, uh, Gemini. Something is uh, definitely uh coming back in all right and it's gonna feel really good for you and then yeah nine of wands energy here 
this is going to be coming in when it's ready the wounded warrior ten of swords coming in i feel like the best thing for you to do right now gemini is just to continue healing and continue just taking care of business here all right there's nothing that you can personally do at this current point in time gemini to get this energy to ramp up quicker to you all right usually i will tell people be like oh be more open if you see social you know socially what have you this energy here is going to get there when it gets there right that knight of pentacles is never going to rush the process here Excuse me, I'm trying not to belch <laughs> onto the mic, honey. I spent way too much money on this mic that I know it's going to catch every single detail of that burp, honey, if I do. Um, so yeah, there's nothing you can really do at this time. I feel like there's just some loose ends that you need to close off. With that Ten of Swords, there's something that is just like, has been a really like a bothersome thing for you that you need to close off here, I feel. All right, there's been like too many store swords into your back here, too many things that have just been pissing you off that's been stacking up. You've given the situation too many chances, darling. All right, address that and tend to your healing, tend to your circle. Um, and this energy will come in when in due time. All right. We have the magician energy stepping forward to you, Gemini, as well as the seven of swords here. And then we have here the high priestess energy. Very interesting because Libra got the high priestess energy in this exact placement in a different tarot deck. I use this tarot deck for the Libra, so it's interesting. So if you have Libra in your chart, be sure to check that out, um, Gemini. Um, I feel like for you guys currently, protect yourself, Gemini, all right? I usually don't tell people this in terms of spiritual stuff just because I don't like to feed into those drama narratives and spiritual stuff, but um, Magician Energy, Seven of Swords, High Priestess, um, keep an evil eye on you, Gemini, or like some type of protective stone. Ask, ask your angels, ask your spiritual team, whatever it is you subscribe to belief-wise to um, uh, protect you at this time and cleanse you as well, Knight of Swords Energy, because I feel as if um, either someone is going to be trying to do some type of spiritual like stuff if you are spiritually active here or it doesn't even have to be spiritually active here it could be just because thoughts are energy right um some type of sabotaging energy here some type of energy that really distracts you and tries to slow you down in your role of that magician energy of creative creation in your life here knight of swords is going to be affecting your mental health if you've noticed recently gemini that your mental health has just been really just like oh hey like crazy Hey, Miss Tula, come on, do a big stretch, girl, big stretch. If you've been noticing, uh, Gemini, if you've been feeling super uninspired recently or just more fatigued than usual, harder to get out of bed, uh, Gemini, check, do an energy reset, all right? Cleanse your energy, claim back your uh, energy from anything and anyone, all right? Six of Swords uh, coming in here. Why is this Six of Swords here? with the seven of wands oh okay so that's what's going on here so it's interesting here uh gemini this is going to be i see this in two ways for some of you gemini's this is going to be very specific some of you gemini's y'all had to leave part ways with some type of group dynamic whether this is like a friend group there's just more than one energy here work dynamic here it's like everyone was like villainizing you gemini or like you have you ended up being the oddball oddball one out and that makes so much and i would keep talking about the pre-shuffle honey but it's like it's making so i'm making so many connections with this but it's like i also pulled the five of pentacles for you gemini uh during your pre-shuffle so i get for some of you guys it's like even like a family dynamic like you you're the one that's just very self-aware gemini probably and you're the one that's like breaking like the generational curses um breaking like what your family has always done with the toxic cycles and all that right and so you were self-aware about it you were the one that like caught on to something first and everyone else thought you were crazy everyone else was trying to gaslight you and what have you and so you ended up having to be like the lone wolf right you ended up having to be the nine of wands that wounded warrior where you're just like all right i gotta stand on my conviction no one else sees this right now all right you got to just continue on by yourself currently here, right? And so what I see going down for some of you guys, expect some time, if that resonates with you, expect someone from that dynamic coming over, approaching you. And it makes sense as to why um, it's a little bit slower going initially here, because it's like this energy is going to be coming in and be like, hey, I, I realize that you are right. I realize like this group dynamic is actually really toxic. Someone wakes up to this that you're already trying to point out. And then this other group, like the rest of the people here are like doing like an evil eye on you or just being like Ugh. something that you had to walk that you walked away from and they don't like seeing you thriving and like it like pisses them off to see you ending up being right in some way gemini so that makes sense for other people right if socially that makes um that doesn't resonate with you for others of you gemini i feel as if 
I just feel it. I know. I feel as if there's just like something that you had to walk away from that is very resentful towards you. And I feel like that resentful energy, even if they're not doing anything physically or like out of their way to do making a conscious choice in doing something, I feel like it's just the resentment um, is like that energy sending you away. And darling, what did I say? I pulled that five of pentacles in your pre shuffle, honey. And spirit was just like, oh, you want to talk about that card? We'll bring it out for you, darling. Right. And so, yeah, um, some situation here that you you ended up being the oddball one out and you're just like, all right, I'm going to continue on in my with my own self here. Queen of Pentacles, tending to yourself first. You prioritized yourself first. Gemini, I celebrate you for that. All right. I celebrate you for that because it's a really hard thing to do. And the thing about it is I'm noticing with this Gemini is like, I really just want to celebrate you guys and how much you guys have stand just, just stood strong in your conviction gemini if i can speak honey y'all have really stood strong in your conviction even though everyone else has thought you were the crazy one even though everyone else was just like either trying to gaslight you or what have you you stood strong with like in your truth here and so you're finally like at the time it wasn't seeming promising right you didn't know if there was ever going to be justice with this situation here but the justice always finds its way karma always finds its way and that's what's really what's happening is karma's finally coming in may it may have been a little bit slow honey but karma's finally coming in the truth is always be the truth always comes out honey and the truth is once the truth does come out as it continues coming out honey People are going to be coming back to you, Gemini, and being like, oh, you were right, darling. Like, I'm sorry. Like, they see, like, exactly, like, what it was that you were pointing out and saw way before anyone else, right? And so we have the new moon and Libra coming in here, new romantic cycle beginning. Obviously, with uh, with Oracle cards, uh, Gemini, you have to take the, you kind of have to take the message of romance um, and just all encompassing thing about it, just like a hard match there, you know, um, as we were talking about beforehand, just like a new best friend and what have you here. Definitely, I feel as if this new, per like, if you have, once you guys do have this past connection coming into the forefront here, Gemini, um, it does seem to be very good intentions. And I'm not telling you to connect to this and give it a second chance, darling, because this is your own life. It's your business. You know, you decide, right? Full moon in Capricorn, a tough cycle is, uh, is ending here uh for you guys and then for your third moon oracle card here we have the full moon in sagittarius looking at the bigger picture all right sagittarius so <laughs> calling you sagittarius now gemini all right so gemini y'all are on the perfect path here intuitively y'all probably already knew this you just felt it in your gut and now you're just going to start seeing the actual physical signs of being like okay yeah i knew what i was talking about here honey i told you so right very much so i told you so energy that you're going to be telling everyone else like it's going to be so affirming for you Gemini of the, in the days to come of how things start unfolding because you already intuitively knew this but you didn't have any physical tangible evidence you just had your intuition you just saw the sign like your spiritual team was communicating with you and saw the signs and you were receptive towards it no one else saw it but you but eventually the truth always comes out and it absolutely is starting to all right things are starting to be unveiled so Gemini I celebrate you darling all right you are like you know, I always feel like I need to gas up my Geminis because everyone's so critical about them. They always hate the Geminis just because it's like the in thing to do, right? And so I just want to give you guys some extra love and celebrate you guys because this energy here, I know it was not easy to just stand strong in your conviction when everyone else and everything seems to have been working against you. All right, Gemini. So keep on going, darling. And remember that this tough cycle is ending. All right. The, end, the ending of a tough cycle is approaching very quickly for you, darling. All right. The truth is coming out. The truth always does, darling, Gemini. So I love you so much, darling. Hopefully you found this reading helpful. If you did, uh, Gemini, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video like and subscribe and remember gemini if you want to book a private reading with me my website's linked down below simplyvelka.com next to my social media is tiktok and instagram both of those just being simply welcome all right to darling so i'll be connecting with you sometime in the near future hopefully i love you so much gemini bye